Hi guys, how you doing? I'm back with another video. I'm going to be showing you how to do a postcard using the Japanese um, stamp set that is in my prize for the giveaway. And I'm also going to be using this um, Japanese, which means summer greetings or literally translated, it means um, enjoy during the hot heatness, pretty much but it's have a great summer, kind of like in English. And um, I'm gonna be using VersaFine today just because I really like the colors. This is um, Habanero in Japanese and it's Vermilion right there. And I super love that color. It's almost kind of neon, it's like a dark neon. Almost like a reddish orange, which is perfect to this. And I'm also gonna be using, using the VersaFine in Majestic Blue for the phrase here and actually it's the same as I didn't even see that but I'm going to be doing watercolor and I like to use the blue and I'm also beginning using some some of this glitter that I got from Sherry the super fine glitter I got um, when I ordered that wedding kit from her and I'm going to be using the essential glue pad so I have been asked before to show a tutorial on how to do that so hopefully I can get this out in under 20 minutes um, before I want to share through my Japanese nails, I'm using um, some sinful colors by in, or in this neon pink that Sherry sent me, and this um, neon yellow, and I used this Kose Fine Nail X as my base, and then I put them on. I find these um, they come off easily if you don't put the uh, coat on it. So when I did that, what I did is I first basically sorry I did my base and I did the pink and then I used my monster bundle plates and I found the cool ones I found the kanji for oh you can really see me there um, fuku which is hard to see because it's a mirror and then this one is I and basically here's fuku and I don't know how, how well you can be able to see that and then this one eye. Now the eye didn't really turn out very much. There's a really good eye. I don't know if you can see it. That means love. And then Fuku. That one's on kind of sideways. Is luck. And I put some glittery shimmer on the neon yellow one. Using this cool can make nail polish. And I super love it. It looks like stickles. And, and um, oh for the white. Um, you have to use a thick nail polish. So I ordered this and Sherry sent me it. I sent it to her house and she had it sent to me. Thanks so much, girl. And it's the Conad Special Nail Polish in the white. And I super love it. Check out the design. There's like black butterfly. Isn't that totally Anna Sui? I love it. And so I use that and I put it on here and then I use my card to wipe off the excess and then you have to do that really quick one two and then stamp it and then you just kind of roll it on your fingernail and this one turned out really awesome so these are my Japanese sparkly nails and they would have qualify for my challenge and I'm so excited because like everybody like had awesome videos and so many people I know there's a lot of last minute videos and that's awesome too because I thought you guys would stop um entering and then you got just last minute so that's even more fun more competition guys so anyways let's get started on the postcard now um, for my blue I'm going to use this watercolor set so I'm going to open it up this was from Craft and Kate and I want it in her giveaway and I'm going to just make some blue so I'm going to put a little bit of water in here with my water pen and I like this light blue color I might have put too much water, but oh well, let's see how I go. Let's some, make it a little bit medium. Ooh, nice color. And then over here, I'm just going to add some lighter in case I want to. Okay. Okay, now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go. Let me see. Sorry if I don't bump the camera. I'm going to go to my postcard but first um, what I did is I took some plain washi, washi tape and it's actually very sticky and I might this is um, kind of a thin postcard so I suggest that you make it unsticky by either like playing with it in your fingers or sticking it down on the table and pulling it up 
Otherwise, just pushing it in the corners, not directly onto the paper, so it will be easy to pull off. Just be really careful when you're pulling. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make little water type strokes. And I'm going to do, I should use a big brush, but I'm okay. And I'm just going to play with the water. I'm just going to have fun. There's no rhyme. I just want to make the whole thing watery, actually. And I don't mind. If your card gets a little bit wrinkly, you can just smush it between a book after you finish. And so basically, the masking tape is asking, is acting, sorry, it's acting as a mask, which is the perfect use for masking tape, right? So I'm just using it to get that nice white edge border around the whole entire postcard. And it does really make it look a little bit more finished and professional. And you don't want to go over too much because it will pull the paper. So basically, I don't even know you can see that. So I'm going to pull it up. Let me just wipe the edges a bit. So. Okay, and I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to show you. See, I just have this watercolor type look. And you can do it no matter how you like. Let me just put this... Um, watercolor over here out of the way and I'm going to very carefully pull the tape off of this just remember which one is first yeah I've had a really um, bad cough oh, I dropped my water pan in my lap I had a really bad cough so my voice sounds a little bit funny and if you do have a bit of rippage maybe that's okay I was not lucky enough to have a perfect one, but this is pulling off really nicely. I don't know why that edge pulled, but that's totally cool. I'm still going to keep it. And if you wanted to, you could even um, cut off the edges if you tore it, and then mat it on a card and use it as a card front. So other than that one, because I it was distracted on camera, I'll blame it on that. You have perfect edging right around there. Looks really nice. So what are we going to do next is that we are going to take our stamp. And I'm just going to use the orange one because he's orange already. I'm going to pull him off. I'm going to stick him on like this. So he's ready to go. And I'm just going to randomly do this. So get my ink. And I'm going to, you can do it this way, you can turn it upside down do it this way, whichever way that you like. And I'm just going to randomly stamp him on the water. And look at that, Versafine leaves a beautiful color. It really does. And you just kind of turn it so it doesn't look like they're all going in the same direction. And I'm going to leave that. I don't want to do more ink that. I'm going to leave it because I don't want to overdo it. So I get my wet naps right now. Because this is the best time to clean your stands. Less um, staining and less cleanup for later. So he's clean, as good as he's going to get. You will get a little bit of orange with the Versafine, but that's okay. Usually, yeah, especially reds tend to stain a little bit, but that's all right. And so I'm going to take my, my blackfish, this one, here. And I'm going to put him right on the block. You can put it down like this and then pick it up in anything you like. So put the lid on this one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to take my glue pad. As you can see, um, it's I haven't used it. It is a little bit tacky, but that's not going to be enough. So what you need to do 
is going to take your glue pad, and I don't know if you have to shake it, but I'm just going to shake it to be safe. And I'm going to use um, this size stamp. It's very small, so I'm just going to use my center. I'm going to put a few drops just because I want it to make sure it's going to stick. And I think it's fine. Now I'm just going to rub it in. And just to compare, I did buy the heat and stick pad when I had gone shopping in Buffalo with my mom. And I did not like how they stamped at all. So I prefer to use this. I found it and tried it and I loved it. So I'm just going to take my stamp and I'm just making sure it's real inked up. And as you can see, I have pretty good coverage. Maybe you can. I'm going to put it right in the middle. And you want to make sure you have good coverage. And he is stamped. Now I'm going to, I'm just going to open my glitter. And you, I should have done this before because you want to move fairly quickly, but it doesn't dry right away. I'm just going to put the glitter on there. And if you can see, it's fairly much covered completely. Now, I'm going to take it. And I'm going to take my embossing tray. And this is to put all your powder in. It's less cleanup. If you have big containers of glitter, you can do it right in a Tupperware container with a spoon. I don't have um, a lot of glitter. As you can see, it's only this much. So I'm not going to use a whole container for that. This works fine for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn over. And you can see there's a goldfish. You can tap it. You can flick. Just use this a little bit on that side and then as you can see there's um, a few strays like this and there it is and this is if this were embossing powder you would just emboss it but this is just super fine glitter so it should stick now I'm gonna let it dry there and if it doesn't stick there's a couple things you could do. If it doesn't stick, well you could do it a lot of times as much as you can to get as much as you want. Or you could spray hairspray on it. You could do um, some glossy accents on top just to keep it. Or you could just, you know, be happy with the fact that glitter is going to come off because that's what happens when you use glitter. So anyways, that's my simple card. And just to top it off, so let me wipe my, you want to be careful, you want to really, this is important that you do clean it right away because you did use glitter. I don't know if my camera is wiggling while I move, probably is, so he's not sticky at all. If you want to be sure, you can just um, clean him with soapy warm water, I say, and that would work real fine. I do have this blue bubble ones, but I'm not going to demonstrate that right now. You can do whatever you like. And I'm going to take my VersaFine, and I super duper love it. And it has a swingy. The big ones have a swingy um, lid, so you could put it underneath like this and use it as a rest. Like that. Or you could just leave it open. I still have the original like sheet that it comes in the fabric, but anyways. So I'm going to take it. And I'm going to do a test run, just to be safe. I'm going to test this guy. Ooh, perfect. Okay, it's ready. And I'm going to get the best section. I think I'm going to put it right here in the corner. I'm just going to stamp it. Shouchu o mi mai moshiagemasu. And there it is, guys. There is my really cute Japanese postcard. And I think that glitter is almost dry. Um, if you use the other ones, like Martha Stewart glitter, that works perfectly for me. That is the best way to do um, stamping, is using the stamping and glitter, I find, is using the glue pad. Just make sure you have it um, well, well glued up before you do stamp, though. And you can see this one really does get it very bright, but um, 
if you want you can use your stamp cleaner if you have a special one and then let's see if I can just get a little bit as you can see if you have a dark color or like that you could just see that it's just bringing up that little bit more it's not going to get it completely and that's how much better it looks now I'm okay with a bit of staining it's up to you guys all right so hope you guys have a good day and get your entries in for my challenge bye bye